In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to create multiple X and Y axis on a SciChart surface. SciChart.js supports unlimited multiple X and Y axis. You can place them on the left, right, top or bottom of the chart. As a starting point, we're going to use tutorial number one, which is our boilerplate example, and we're going to modify it from there. The boilerplate example has a single SciChart surface and a single X and Y axis, which are added to the chart. Your starting point should look something a little bit like this. Let's go ahead and delete this code. So we're going to delete the X and Y axis that we've already added to the chart. And now what we're going to do is declare multiple axis. So we'll start off by declaring two X axis. So you'll notice that I declare an X axis by saying new numeric axis, and I'm setting a title into the constructor parameters. For the second X axis, I'm setting an ID. All axes have an ID and there's a default ID assigned to all of the axes. However, for the second one, we've changed it to X axis underscore two. I'm going to add two Y axis as well. So I'm going to declare two Y axis as I have done before. And I've set a ID for the second Y axis of Y axis underscore two. Finally, I need to add all four axes to my side chart surface. So I do this by adding them to the X axis collection and then the Y axis collection. If you have a look at the example now, after we've made these changes, it should look something like this. We've got two Y axis, primary and secondary, and two X axis, primary and secondary, but they're both on the right and the bottom of the chart. In the next step, we're going to adjust their alignment so that this example looks a little bit better. To set the alignment of the axis, first of all, we need to import the enumeration E axis alignment. And we do this from SciChart slash types slash axis alignment. Secondly, we can set the axis alignment on individual axis. So I want the first X axis to appear on the bottom and I want the second X axis to appear on the top. I also want the first Y axis to appear on the left and the second Y axis to appear on the right. If I go ahead and run the application now, you'll see that the axes have been positioned on the left, right, top and bottom. So this is looking a little bit better now. In the next step, we're going to add some series and some interactions to these axes. OK, so let's go ahead and add some series to this example. First of all, we're going to declare some series like this. So we remember that you have to declare a fast line renderable series and you have to add this to the SciChart surface renderable series collection. And the renderable series also needs a data series. In this example, we're passing in the X values and the Y values to the constructor parameters of XY data series, just so that we got some data to view. Don't forget that you need to import fastline renderable series and XY data series, which you can do from the following namespaces. So let's have a quick look at our example so far. We've got two series on the chart, and these are registered to the default axis. The default axis are the primary axis. You remember that earlier I said that two of these axes do not have an ID, and that they have a default ID. Well, the fast line renderable series also has a default ID. Let's also set a X and Y axis drag modifier onto this chart, and you can see exactly what I mean in the next step. The X and Y axis drag modifier adds the behavior to drag the X and Y axis. You'll need the imports, SciChart charting chart modifiers, X and Y drag axis drag modifier. And you'll need to add the X and Y axis drag modifier to the SciChart surface chart modifiers collection. If you run the example now, you'll see that I can drag the axis. However, dragging the secondary axis does absolutely nothing because no series are registered on this axis. Dragging the primary axis causes the series to scale in the y direction and dragging the primary x axis causes a series to scale in the x direction. So how do I register a series onto a specific axis pair? Well, it's done by the x axis ID and y axis ID property. So for example, if I change the x axis ID and the y axis ID of the first series to x axis underscore two y axis underscore two, now the first series has been moved onto the secondary axis. And you can see this behavior that when I scale the secondary axis, the first series scales. But when I scale the primary axis, the other series scales. 
So it's using these X and Y axis IDs. There is a default ID, so if you don't set anything by default, your series and your axis will match up. But if you want a specific series onto a specific X or Y axis ID, then you must set these IDs. So what else can we do? You can also add annotations onto a chart and register them to a specific axis. Go ahead and import text annotation, and we do this from SciChart, Charting, Visuals, Annotations. Next, we want to declare a text annotation, and we want to add it to the SciChart Surface Annotations collection. I've given it a X and Y value of 1200 so that it displays in the bottom left of the chart. If you go ahead and open up your example, you should see something like this. By default, annotations have a x-axis ID and a y-axis ID equal to the default axis ID. So that means that they are always registered on the primary axis if no ID is specified. As I scale the primary axis, you'll see that the annotation moves with it. If I wanted to move the annotation onto the secondary axis, I'd do this in exactly the same way that I did for the series. I need to specify the x-axis ID and y-axis ID property. By setting this equal to the IDs that we've set when we added our axis, this annotation is now moved to the secondary set of axis. You'll see that now the primary axis scale has no effect upon the annotation, but the secondary axis scale does. In the documentation for SciChart.js, which you can find at scichart.com slash javascript dash charts dash documentation, we've got further information about the axis configuration and alignment. If you go ahead and expand this section here, and under Axis APIs, there is a page on setting the axis alignment, where we go through in greater detail how to set the alignment to the left, right, top, and bottom of the chart. It's also possible to do some unusual things in SciChart.js, such as setting an x-axis on the left and a y-axis on the top or bottom. And you can do this in order to create vertical charts.